The Honda CR-V may not be a best seller at all in India, but this car has sold around 10 million units worldwide since it was first launched in 1995. This is the fifth generation Honda CR-V and for the first time Honda Cars India is bringing in a diesel version and that too a seven seater. This is powered by a 1.6 liter diesel engine mated to a nine speed automatic transmission. Let's check it out how good it is. Let's check out the features. This is the Motown India show and my name is Roy P. Tharian. The Honda CR-V is in the midst of a very tough monocoque SUV segment in India and since the numbers are very limited here in terms of sale, the competition is a lot stiffer. At the one end is the dashing Jeep Compass and at the other end is the Skoda Kodiak. It's rubbing shoulders with the likes of the Volkswagen Tiguan, the Mitsubishi Outlander and not to forget the formidable Hyundai Tucson. So despite all these vehicles offering a lot more in terms of power and torque, the new Honda CR-V has packed in its own set of clear features and advantages. To begin with, the Honda CR-V is being offered with a new 1.6 litre DOHC ID.Tech diesel turbo engine developed under the Earth Dreams technology that produces around 118.35 horsepower at 4000 rpm and a peak torque of around 300 newton meters at 2000 rpm. This engine is mated to a new 9-speed automatic transmission with electronic gear selector and paddle shifters. Again, this diesel variant has an option of a two-wheel drive as well as a four-wheel drive. The new Honda CR-V also comes with a 1997cc petrol four-cylinder SOHC iVTEC engine that produces around 152 horsepower at 6,500 rpm and a peak torque of 189 newton meters at 4,300 rpm. There's quite a, a sporty steering here and uh, this can be adjusted of course with its lever out here the moment you pull it it can go up and down and of course it can also be adjusted for reach so there you go uh, according to your height and your preference and then you can lock it up here and if you notice uh, the gear changes here in this automatic is amazing there's no lever out here it's just a DS button uh, which means once you press this it's in the drive mode this is the neutral and you want to reverse it there's a little tuck of a little tiny button here you just have to do that and there the reverse is engaged and you have a fantastic screen that will guide you uh, as you reverse parking so, so these cameras are quite helpful this is of course the parking button and then you have the parking mode and a brake hold the moment you want to set off it's back to the DS button and there you step on the accelerator you're off coming to the diesel engine with a wider spread of gears the very low gear ratio ensures a powerful launch while top gear ratio results in reduced engine speed thus reducing fuel consumption and noise level the power delivery in this vehicle is definitely linear and smooth the new 9-speed automatic transmission can even shift directly down gears from 9th to 5th and from 7th to 4th gear apart from one gear downshifts. The all-wheel drive in this 5th generation CR-V provides a 4-wheel drive in different drive conditions over different terrains. As much as 40% of power can be sent to the rear wheels if the situation so demands. This works in tandem with vehicle stability control and motion adaptive electric power steering. Of course, when cruising, the drive force to the rear wheels is decoupled for reduced drag. The vehicle comes with anti-lock braking system with brake assist with a new electric brake booster. Features like an electric parking brake, automatic brake hold and hill start assist add to the convenience. The Honda CR-V is now slightly longer, wider and taller than its predecessor and the longer wheelbase too means that better rear seat roominess and ride quality. The SUV has a length of 4592mm, a width of 1855mm, a height of 1689mm and a wheelbase of 2660mm. While the petrol is a 5-seater, the diesel model is a pure 7-seater. 
Coming to the exteriors, the new Honda CRV maintains its subtle dynamic looks. The front end now looks sharper with new stylized LED headlamps that come with wing shaped LED DRLs. The fenders are wide and muscular in appearance. The turn lights, tail, and brake lights are all LED. The side profile with its chrome strips running across give the vehicle a very smart profile. The vehicle sits on 18 inch alloys with tubeless radial tires of 235 by 60 R18 103H profile. Even the spare tire is of the same size. Step inside and you notice a very roomy CRV cabin. When you open the door, the instrument panel lighting illuminates and then brightens progressively to 100% brightness when the ignition is switched on. At the end of the drive, the instrument lighting dims progressively. The dash area looks very sophisticated and stylish with a wood finish strip running across. The material used is all very good to touch and feel, signifying good quality. The new stylish instrument panel, the full color 7 inch driver information interface display and a 7 inches color touch screen display audio system give a very sleek appearance to the car. This car comes with a lot of strings attached, there's a pun intended. You pull a string here, the seat goes back. You pull a string here, the seat goes back. There are minor adjustments here. I'll try to do that. There you go. The reason for this raised uh, platform is that you can slide in your suitcase and it's going to be stable like that. And what is the space underneath? Well, you can put your old shoes or some wet stuff, your umbrellas or even some hide some cash there. So that's the way this operates here. So there you go. And similarly in front also, the 60-40 splits middle row can also be pulled down with the help of strings. We'll just show that to you. There you go. We pull that. Similarly with the other also, you can, so this is a 60-40 split here. And interestingly, this can also be hung up here. And there's a little attachment here where you can just lock it and maybe store some stuff here, which I would not recommend because the floor is not even. With all three rows up, cargo space is obviously compromised to a mere 150 liters. But once you fold the third row, you get 472 liters and a massive 936 liters when the second and third rows are folded. There is also a release handle for each seat that's accessible from each rear door. A simple pull on either the handle or lever stores the seat completely by automatically lowering the seat base and folding seat back forward. For automatically lowering the seat base and folding the seat back forward and down. To put seats up, simply raise the backrest. In the petrol model, only two rows are offered for five people in total, but this gets a new dive down 60-40 split rear seat design. I hope you are convinced by the practicality of this new Honda CRV. And most important, I'm sure you would have liked this video. If you have, do not forget to like and share. And if you're not subscribed to the Motown India channel, do so now. Till the next time, drive safe and always belt up.